The concern is quantum computing is going to break RSA encryption, so all our secrets are going to be known. It's true, it will happen. Hasn't probably happened yet, but it's going to happen. You know, in a five to ten year time frame, quantum computing will break encryption as we know it today. As quantum computing matures, so does the possibility that sensitive information could be unlocked. This is a clear national security threat. Quantum computer. What is that? Why is it always confusing? And why big tech companies and governments are battling out to build it as fast as possible? It's a revolutionary new type of computer that's based on the strange and mysterious principles of quantum mechanics. In this video, we're going to take a deep dive into the science behind quantum computers and explore how they work. Quantum computers are not supercomputers in the traditional sense. They are a different type of computer that uses quantum mechanical phenomena, such as superposition and entanglement, to perform operations on data. To understand quantum computers, we first need to understand a bit about how classical computers work. Classical computers, like the one you're probably using to watch this video, use bits to store and process information. A bit can be either a zero or a one, and it's the building block of all classical computing. But quantum computers are different. They use qubits instead of bits. Qubits are based on the principles of quantum mechanics, which tell us that particles can exist in multiple states at the same time. This means that a qubit can represent not just a zero or a one, but a combination of both at the same time. This is called superposition. Superposition is just the beginning of the weirdness of quantum mechanics. Another important principle is entanglement. Entanglement occurs when two particles become linked in such a way that their states are no longer independent. If you measure the state of one particle, it immediately affects the state of the other, no matter how far apart they are. This is a phenomenon that Albert Einstein called spooky action at a distance. In some cases, quantum computers can solve certain types of problems exponentially faster than classical computers, including supercomputers. However, this speedup is limited to certain types of problems, such as factorization and database search, for which quantum algorithms have been developed. For other types of problems, classical computers may still be faster or more efficient. So how do we use these principles to build a quantum computer? Well, the key is to use them to perform operations on qubits that are impossible with classical bits. For example, a quantum computer can use superposition and entanglement to perform many calculations at the same time, which can lead to massive speedups for certain types of problems. One of the most famous quantum algorithms is Shor's algorithm, which can factor large numbers much faster than any known classical algorithm. This has important implications for cryptography, as many encryption algorithms are based on the difficulty of factoring large numbers. But building a practical quantum computer is no easy task. Qubits are incredibly fragile, and any interaction with the outside world can cause them to lose their quantum state. To overcome this, researchers are developing new materials and techniques for isolating and controlling qubits. While quantum computers hold tremendous potential for solving complex problems that are currently infeasible for classical computers, they also pose certain threats to current security systems. One of the biggest threats is the ability of quantum computers to break many of the cryptographic protocols, including cryptographic algorithms used in blockchain technology. These algorithms used to protect sensitive information such as credit card details, military communications, government information, etc. This is because many of these protocols rely on the computational complexity of certain mathematical problems, which can be easily solved by a sufficiently powerful quantum computer using Shor's algorithm. The elliptic curve digital signature algorithm is currently one of the most commonly used cryptographic algorithms in blockchain technology. However, it was originally designed to be used with classical computers and is vulnerable to attacks by quantum computers. Since the rise of quantum computing threatens the security of blockchain's cryptographic algorithms, it could be exploited by malicious actors such as those involved in market manipulation or even governments that oppose the use of cryptocurrency. As a result, there is a growing need to develop new post-quantum cryptographic algorithms that can resist quantum attacks 
and protect sensitive information in blockchain systems in order for blockchains to remain secure and viable in the next era of computing. Despite the challenges, progress in quantum computing has been rapid in recent years, and there are now several companies and research groups working on building practical quantum computers. So who knows? Maybe in the next few years, we'll all be using quantum computers to solve problems that are currently out of reach for classical computers. If you found this video informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up to show your support. If you're passionate about science, technology, and robotics content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our future uploads. Thank you for watching. See you soon.